Good day, everyone. I'm here today to present my graduation dissertation. The title is Product Leadership, the value discipline that provides competitive advantage for Hayes Revolution, a descriptive exploratory study on value disciplines that create competitive advantage. First, I would like to provide the objective of this presentation. First of all, I'm going to provide a brief introduction of the research followed by the purpose of the research, research settings, research strategies, main findings, conclusions, and I finish this presentation with my recommendations. Hayes Revolution is a Brazilian startup that wished to sell alternative t-shirts online. To be successful in this highly competitive environment, Hayes Revolution needs to create an advantage over its competitor. In other words, the firm needs to generate competitive advantage. The concept of competitive advantage was defined by Porter, but since his definition, business literature provides many different definitions of competitive advantage. But the main idea behind the concept, competitive advantage concept is value creation. So, Hayes Revolution needs to maintain and create value to be able to create competitive advantage. But how Hayes Revolution could maintain and create value? Well, desk research confirmed the hypothesis that the theory of value disciplines could help Hayes Revolution to create competitive advantage. The theory is simple to understand and very easy to implement. It does not require high resource capabilities to create advantage, is very relevant nowadays, and it has helped many companies to create competitive advantage, such as IBM, Sony, AT&T, Diesel, Harley-Davidson, Intel, Walmart, Zara, and so on. So, value discipline is a customer-centered theory that suggests that companies gain leadership positions by offering superior customer value. So, if a company offers superior customer value, consequently, will generate competitive advantage. The definition of value disciplines refers to the three desirable ways in which companies can combine operating model and value propositions to be the best in their market. There's three strategic orientations. Operational excellence, which is the best total cost, is when companies provide products or service with low price and also hassle-free transactions, speed delivery time. A good example of that is the AT&T. Customer intimacy is the best total solution. To be able to be a customer intimate companies, uh, the firm must know their clients. They must tailor products or service to match their customer demands. On the other hand, product leadership companies, they offer the best products. The, the product leadership companies are in the constant pursuit for innovation and quality, not only in their products or service, but also on their business process, on the way to market their products to the market. So, a research problem emerged. What value discipline provides competitive advantage for Hayes Revolution? So the purpose of this research is to identify what value discipline could provide competitive advantage for Hayes Revolution. The main objective of this research is the identification of the discipline that will help the company to focus where it should add its value to satisfy customers and market demands. In order to meet the main objectives of the research, a set of sub-questions and sub-objectives were designed, such as describe his revolution business process, operating model and value proposition, establish what discipline potential customers are likely to prefer, describe the factors on the firm's external environment that can determine the attractiveness of the market and also the opportunities and threats in it, and finally, determine the direct competitor's value discipline to find out if there is a gap in the market for Hayes Revolution value discipline adoption. So the research was designed with a deductive approach because it starts by deducing a hypothesis. In this case, or in the case of this research, the hypothesis is that the adoption of one value discipline could provide competitive advantage for Hayes Revolution. This hypothesis has been confirmed through the desk research. Uh, this research was designed as a descriptive exploratory study. Uh, the choice of value discipline not only depends on customer value preference, but also 
uh, the choice is based on market analysis and also on the company internal capabilities such as value proposition and operating model. So the combination of research designs were necessary to provide a clear picture of the market, the company and potential customer value preference. So the secondary research was designed as, as an exploratory study and the primary research was designed as a descriptive study. The secondary research uh, intended to find out what's happening in the company's internal and external environment. Also intended to seek new insights in the firm's customer and competitors, intended to assess what value discipline fits with the company internal and external settings, and finally aim to find out what discipline could be adopted according to market analysis and internal capabilities. On the other hand, the primary research was designed as a descriptive study to determine the customer value discipline's inclination through the identification of their value preference. Furthermore, the descriptive primary research aimed to portray an accurate profile of the firm's potential customer groups. The strategy chose for this uh, research was the survey strategy. Uh, the reason for that is because it is used with descriptive and exploratory studies, is also commonly used in management and business research. It's used to answer the what questions. This uh, research question is what value discipline provides competitive advantage for his revolution. It also provides the possibility to collect quantitative data with the use of a questionnaire and also provides the possibility of data collection from a sizable population in an efficient and economic way. So uh, moving on to the research settings in relation to the research settings of the secondary research, as I said, uh, the research intended to identify what value discipline could be implemented by Hayes Revolution. And the reason for that is because the company must show the ability to pursue the discipline with its value proposition and operating model and the external environment should provide the adequate fit for this implementation. So the secondary research was designed as an internal and external environmental analysis. The secondary research was conducted through a desk research, which was applied to collect secondary and tertiary literature sources such as research papers, government demographic research, business case studies, industry studies, and so on. And the criteria applied to ensure that this data was reliable was the reliability of the data, such as the credibility of the author of the source and the publication period. On the other hand, the primary research, as I said, aimed to identify customer's value preference. Customer value preference were linked to each value discipline to find out which value discipline customer respond to. The identification of the value preference can demonstrate which of these three strategic orientations the company should pursue. The primary research was conducted through a self-administered questionnaire used to collect the data. The questions were designed to collect uh, information of opinion and attribute variables. The firm customer segmentation was used as a criteria to select the participants for the survey. The survey was conducted over the internet. 75 individuals responded to the questionnaire. Uh, the sample calculations, and we can see in the, uh, in the research report, uh, uh, require 65 individuals, so the number of uh, individuals that responded to survey was higher than the sample size requirements. Uh, and the data collected was statistic analyzed with the SPSCS software. Now, uh, this uh, section of the presentation uh, uh, lists the uh, the, the things that uh, I did to make sure the validity and reliability of the research, uh, uh, there are many things that I use to ensure that, and uh, more details can be found on the research uh, on the research report. And if you have any question in relation to that, I will be happy to answer at the end of this presentation. So moving on to the findings of the research, first I present the secondary research findings. Here I use a SWOT analysis to summarize the major findings of the internal and external analysis. Uh, here we can see the strengths and weakness, which is related to the internal analysis of Hayes Revolution and the opportunities and threats, 
which are related to the external analysis of Hayes revolution. This framework, uh, it is uh, advised by Olsen uh, to use when the company is choosing a value discipline. So here we can see each of the value disciplines are the possibility of excellence and fit with the environment. From this framework, we can see that operational excellence does not fit so well with uh, uh, his revolution. On the other hand, product leadership is at sufficient level and that's because it fits with the product in offer. The company offers quality and innovation and use technology to enhance the process and also fits very well with the company environment. It links up to the opportunity one, opportunity two and opportunity three. Uh, customer intimacy is also at sufficient level, but the possibility of excellence and the fit with the environment is not as high as product leadership. Uh, for example, customer intimacy, there is possibility of uh, excellence because of the business value and share values and the use of technology to enhance customer service. But on the other hand, it just links the opportunity for to the environment surrounding the company. So the secondary research conclusions shows that the internal analysis uh, uh, showed that the company is prepared to adopt product leadership discipline. Customer analysis also uh, uh, shows that customers are seeking high quality products, sustainable products, which links to product leadership. Uh, Compassion analysis found a gap in the market for product leadership companies. Pastel analysis showed that the population ascension to upper class e-commerce growth, availability of eco raw materials and the demand for them provides feasibility for product leadership implementation. So uh, moving on to the primary research findings, the frequency analysis findings shows that the, the data was equally distributed between the groups of male and female as well as the age groups. 100% of respondents were t-shirt buyers and 9.7% of respondents buy products online. This shows that the respondents have credibility to answer the questionnaire and participate on the survey. Multiple response frequency analysis found that what uh, respondents find important when buy a t-shirt is first design and print with 32.1% of respondents followed by quality with 30.4%. Here is the multiple response frequency table where we can see the percentage of cases and the percentage applied to each of the value preference. Now, when customer was asked to rank, what were, to rank the value preference, they indicate that the most important value preference for them was again design and print with 45% uh, followed by quality with 41.3%. Uh, when we measure what was the second most important value preference for respondents, we I find out that quality it is the most important value preference, followed by design and print. Uh, the answers of these two questions confirms the answers of the question where customer indicate what they find most important when buying a T-shirt. Uh, the multiple response frequency analysis also shows the level of agreement. Uh, of uh, responders to uh, few statements on the survey. Uh, uh, customers uh, totally agree with the statements of I buy t-shirts because of design and print. The totally agreement was very high as well as the totally agreement for the statement I buy t-shirts because of the quality. This result also confirms the answers to previous questions, providing internal consistency for the research, the, the level of agreement and totally agreement was very high and the uh, uh, discipline linked to those value preference is the product leadership discipline. A quiz square test of independence was applied to the primary data. A chi square test of independence is a correlation coefficient test of association to test the level of independence between variables. Uh, I test the level of independence between the gender and the preference for design and print and the gender and the preference for quality and the result is that's not statistically significant. In other words, means that it uh, doesn't matter if uh, uh, you are male and female, your preference for design and print and quality remain, remain the same. 
I also test the level of independence between age and the preference for design and print and age and the preference for quality and the result was the same. They are not statistically significant, which means that if age increase or decrease, the preference for design and print and quality remains the same. This was very important because it provides haze revolution the uh, the information that they could really apply product leadership to all groups within their customer segmentation. Uh, primary research conclusions, frequency analysis showed that the data was equally distributed and respondents have the credibility to answer the questionnaire. It also found that the first factor in customer value preference was design and print followed by quality. As we know, these value preference are linked to the value discipline of product leadership. Value disciplines characteristics are relevant to respondents and respondents rank design and print as their most important value preference when buying a t-shirt followed by quality as second importance. These answers are also linked to product leadership and provide internal consistency for the research. Respondents also indicate high levels of total agreements with the statements of design and print and quality. This answer again showed that customer value preference are those related to the product leadership discipline. Frequency analysis consistently revealed that customer value preference are design and print and quality. So we can conclude from it that Hayes Revolution should adopt product leadership to create competitive advantage, to create value to its customers. Chi-square tests established that product leadership could create value to all groups of customers within the company customer segmentation. And the primary research showed that product leadership is the value discipline that provides competitive advantage for Hayes Revolution. So, uh, according to, to the findings, I listed some recommendations for Hayes Revolution and also for further research in the subject. For Hayes Revolution, my recommendation is that uh, the company creates an unmatched value proposition. Uh, to do that, the company must continue developing superior quality products and use innovative raw materials. It should continue its investments in R&D and it should add customer value preference to the set of tangible and experienced benefits that comes with the product. It should create innovative and quality step in its sales process, product packaging, and so on. It should create innovative ways to go to the market and to market its products. And finally, it should show always the ability and purpose to produce products that customers distinguish as superior. Uh, there are also recommendations for the operating model of Hayes Revolution. Uh, the company must design an operating model that supports its unmatched value proposition with an expiring vision, a flexible business structure, a culture that encourages individual creative thinking, incentives for rewarding employees and suppliers that comes up with innovative products or process, recognition that talented people are the means of its success, and quality standard process that ensure customer receives always, always a quality product. Recommendations for further research, uh, also further research could shed light for different industries and the customer value preference. So we'll be interested to examine that uh, what are the value preference of customers of different in the industries, not only t-shirts and uh, garment industry, uh, it would be very interesting to see as well the applicability of a value discipline to help startups to generate competitive advantage. So it uh, would be very interesting to compare startups that have adopted the three different disciplines to discover if one discipline can be more efficient for startups than the others. With that, I finish my presentation. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have any questions, I will be able to answer them on Skype later on at 2 p.m. Amsterdam time. Thank you very much.